All right, now the Pareto Principle. This is widely known uh, across the world. So it's the 80-20 principle. So ultimately 20% of what you do will produce 80% of the outcome. Um, what's cool about this principle, you can actually apply it on itself. So 80% of the 80%, 20% of the 20%, works out to be 4% activity you can generate 64% of the outcome. So what we've identified, the 4% activity is definitely more in the mind, the rest of it's more the skill. So for us, we want to focus on the 20%. So in relation to golf, if we classified the golf swing as the 100% activity, that then we're hoping to generate uh, some kind of outcome when it comes to a golf shot, we can actually narrow it down to there's 20% of the whole swing actually has an effect on the actual golf shot. So for us, we've seen lots of different positions of the top of the golf swing. So one could be over here, all the way over to over there. So we know it's not the top of the back swing that actually makes a difference to the actual golf shot. It's actually what happens kind of hip high to hip high. So if we can get a really good understanding of what is happening through here, what should be happening through here, we're then working in the right areas. Because from there, we can then fine tune it to, once I get a swing happening from there, what is that club face doing in relation to that swing? So that's gonna be our progression. So the best screen to do this in is on the left hand side, uh, under practice, shot analysis, sign in, hit start. I'm gonna do wedge, you know, cause I'm gonna be, do I actually hit a lot of wedges with that kind of hip high, hip high type of swing there. So the first wumba that I'm actually trying to look for is to get a feel for what a straight swing is. So the only real feedback that I'm looking for is swing direction. I want this to be about plus or minus five degrees. If I see a consistent pattern minus five, that's perfect. If I see a consistent pattern of plus five, that's perfect as well. So we are gonna get three golf balls. And then as a guide today, I've got my swing plane here. Make sure that you can see that on the video. No, you can't. So this little guy here. So I've set this angle here at 65 degrees, so the inside one, and then this one here at 70 odd degrees. So if I put this here, sorry, I'm not a, I'm not a uh, camera masterman. So ultimately, if we're having a straight line from your golf ball to the inside line, we want that to be nice and straight. And then from here, I'm now getting a feel of what that is. So I want to try and do this without using my arms and hands and wrists. So it's very easy to kind of do this, but I want to almost feel like I keep this letter Y. So the club and my body, and then move that all together. So it's more my body moving the golf club. So again, part of the rehearsal is going to be, I want to do three of these practice swings. So again, feeling like my chest and arms, the club are working together. So there's my three practice swings. And then I just go ahead and hit a shot to see what that feels like. So minus 5.1, so I'd classify that as pretty good. Again, get a really good feel for this. Four point two, getting happy with that. Again, it's very fascinating. So obviously, I'm going from here, swinging a little bit more this way, where I want to be here. I feel like I'm actually then pushing more towards the target. So hopefully with this next one, I can keep this the same because I love that. But I want to feel like I'm actually now pushing more towards the right. And let's see if that changes that number on the bottom. There we go, point two. So I'm finding my swing. So here, and then I want to 
feel like I'm pushing more to the right. Okay, point one, so I've got a feel there. Again here, there, and then I push to the right. Point three, so I've got a feel for that now. So I've hit five shots, three practice swings in between. So that's what, four shots, four swings per shot. So I've already hit 20, or sorry, I've already had 20 swings at this. So you can see how quickly we can add up, you know, so we've done 20 with the warm up. We've done a hundred putts from varying distances. We're now doing, we're gonna sit here and do about a hundred of these. So you can then imagine how good your short game is gonna get. So then you're already up to 200 and 20 shots already then we'll finish off with some full swing stuff there's your 240 shots done in one session so it shouldn't take you too long um, to the point where we should be able to do this in part with partners as well so we'll continue through this you don't need to see the rest of it so I'll continue doing this and then explain the whole program summary at the end